In this video, we'll learn how to solve compound inequalities. So what's a compound inequality? Here's an example. Negative 3 less than or equal to 3 minus 2x less than or equal to 12. Notice that we have two inequalities happening sort of at the same time here. So what we want to think about is what we would do if we had both of those inequalities separately. What if we had the inequality negative 3 less than or equal to 3 minus 2x? And what if we had the inequality 3 minus 2x is less than or equal to 12? Well, hopefully you realize that what you would do in both of these inequalities is subtract 3 from both sides to start isolating x. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve this compound inequality by solving both of those inequalities simultaneously. And you'll see how that will work out. So instead of subtracting 3 from both sides of the left-hand inequality, or subtracting 3 from both sides of this right-hand inequality, we're, we're going to subtract 3 from all three of these numbers. So subtract 3, subtract 3, and subtract 3. In the middle, the 3 and the minus 3 will cancel out, which is why we're subtracting 3 in the first place. On the left, we've got 3 mi minus 3 minus 3, which gives us minus 6. In the middle, we now have negative 2x, and on the right, we have 12 minus 3, which is 9. So now we're ready to divide everything by negative 2. So divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Minus 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. Minus 2x divided by negative 2, those negative 2's divide out, we just get x. And then 9 divided by negative 2 is going to give us negative 4 and a half. But now, just like with a regular inequality, because we divided by a negative number, we have to reverse the direction of the inequalities. So now we have 3 greater than or equal to x, greater than or equal to negative 4.5. And I suppose this is an okay way to write the answer, but typically what, we're, what we're, this is really saying is that x is between 3 and negative 4.5. But whenever, by convention, whenever we talk about x being between two numbers, we usually list the lower number first and the bigger number second. If you say to somebody, oh, I have between 20 and $10 in my pocket, that sounds sort of strange. But it sounds much less strange to say I have between 10 and $20 in my pocket. It's just convention to list the smaller number first. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this inequality, pick up this whole thing, and imagine just flipping it over so that the inequalities become less thans instead of greater thans. So I'm not changing the information in the inequality. I'm just writing it so that it looks in the conventional way. So negative 4.5, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 3. It's the same information, it's just written in sort of a more standard way. And again, if we were going to write that in interval notation, we would say negative 4.5 to 3. And that's our solution. All right, now let's tackle a word problem. So Sally the car saleswoman receives a commission for every car she sells, equal to $200 plus 40% of the selling price. She expects a particular car to sell for between $4,000 and $5,500. What commission should she expect to receive? So this one's a little interesting because they tell us the compound inequality that we're uh, thinking about right away. We know that the sales price, which I'll call S, is between $4,000 and $5,500. And the commission, which is the thing we're looking for, I'll call that C, is equal to $200 plus 40%, which is 0.4, of S. So what I want to know is what numbers is this value of C, 200 plus 0.4 S, in between? So what I'm going to do is I'm sort of going to do what I did in the previous problem, but I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to start with this compound inequality, and I'm going to start putting new numbers around that S so that hopefully by the time I'm done, down here somewhere, I'll have 200 plus 0.4s in the middle, and then these two numbers on the sides will tell me the answer to my question. So where am I going to get a 200 plus 0.4s from? Well, multiplication happens before addition in the order of operations, so I'm going to have to multiply everything by 0.4 first. So let's multiply by 0.4, multiply by 0.4, and multiply by 0.4. So 4,000 multiplied by 0.4 turns out to be 1,600. In the middle, I have 0.4s. And then 5,500 times 0.4 is 2,200. All right, so I'm getting closer. I want 
200 plus 0.4s in the middle there, and now I have 0.4s. So where am I going to get the 200 from? Well, I'm just going to add 200 to everything. So plus 200, plus 200, plus 200. And now on the left, I've got 1800. In the middle, I have 200 plus 0.4s, just like I wanted. And on the right, I have 2400. So the, an the answer to our question is between $1,800 and $2,400 in commission. So that one was a little strange, but hopefully that made sense.